In 2004, ASPO had its third ASPO conference here in Berlin, uh, not far from where I stand now. We have the uh, French dome or the French cathedral behind me. It was a very interesting conference because uh, we reached out. Uh, we had people from the uh, International Energy Agency here, Fatty Barrow, and a lot of other interesting people. And it's interesting to notice that the message that we delivered at that time, that we will have a peak in the oil production around 2010, that is the same message we are delivering today. Maybe even that the peak has been, that we had the peak in the oil production around 2008. Yesterday, when ASPA Germany organized the seminar here in Berlin, uh, I was invited to give the key lecture speech. And uh, in the audience, for instance, was uh, the think tanks for the militaries and uh, other people representing in different parts of the German society. And I, we just hope that they will listen. And, they, and uh, we also hope that they will really think about what people means for Germany and for the future of their children and grandchildren. I have to apologize for the bad soundtrack. I don't know why it didn't come through better, but uh, that's the way it is. Sorry for that. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, in Germany, uh, uh, you talk about Öl. And uh, when I was a young student and I came to Germany for the first time, uh, I was very disappointed when I ordered a glass of Öl. Because <laughs> in Swedish, you know, Öl is beer. And uh, I wouldn't dream about that I should come back and talk about Öl. I mean, not beer. Uh, as you see here,
said, he said, well, the association for the study of the oil peak, and that was Assok. And we said, no, I knew what was it, and the name Assok. I mean, that, that is, uh, is right. Well, Paul said, then we can change it. We, so we said, we said, Pico, and then we got the Asko. And I mean, Asko is, sounds right, but the Assok, no, right. You know? so, so, so that is how the term Pico was in and uh, the first time it ever was used was in this article that, that the Drew Stanley from Associated Press wrote in 2002. That was the first time ever the term equal was used. Take it on search on Google today and you find millions and millions of it. That is the success of us. Uh, at that time, in 2002, we said the oil production will probably peak in around year 2010, and the peak production will be 87 million barrels per day. That was the word eight years ago, and that's still the word today. And then in 2006, we decided that we should make an international organization, an organization uh, that uh, has a uh, uh, country, ASPO, uh, that uh, as for the ASPO Germany. And uh, today, we have this map. We have ASPO organizations all over the world, and just recently we can add ASPO Russia to our family. And uh, within the different countries, you have different issues. So ASPO Sweden works with one thing, and ASPO Germany with another thing, and so on. But we all the same family. And these are some of the local types for the ASPO groups around the world. What were guiding of these guys? The senior. OPEC, the International Energy Agency, Energy Information Administration, and there are some Russian guys there, and some Americans of course, and then everyone believes in Brazil. But uh, so far they are doing good, but they better football than supplying the world with gold. Another interesting thing is that in 2006, in the So the question is, why are people not listening more to what they say if you are 